Hello everyone, Brett here, Lion Heart 84. We've got a quick uh, unboxing video here to do. I'm um, going to try and speed it on because it's uh, already starting to get a little bit dark and I've got other things to be doing, but I just thought I'd run through this very quickly for anyone interested. Um, and what I've bought here is basically a couple of plants to replace one that died last summer that I was really annoyed that uh, I couldn't keep alive and one that died over winter in the extreme cold. Uh, which probably means that I'll change how I grow it but what I'll do is quickly uh, pop them out of the boxes and we'll um, see which one is which see if I can manage to lift this out oh this is heavy I think this is going to need a repot because this means this has got incredibly heavy soil that's like concrete on it So this one is, they describe it as a standard, the cellar. It's ludicrously heavy, the pot. I can barely lift it, and I mean, it's not a big plant, but it just weighs an absolute ton. So it's obviously in a compost that I'm not happy with. I'm sure the plant will look fine. Um, see if we can show you quickly what it is. Hey, yep, looking promising. It's got flower buds on it. You may recognize these huge, very unpleasant thorns, if you can see them on here. And what we have here is another yuzu to replace the one that's died on me in the ground. Um, now this is clearly a grafted plant. We don't know what the rootstock's likely to be. I don't think it's going to say on here. No, it doesn't say what the rootstock is. Plant has been cut back quite a lot. They've taken, uh, it's had the top taken off it, obviously to make it branch out. It has got flower buds on it, which is promising for uh, running into May. Lots of new growth on it. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, I think I'm going to repot this. I, I don't like this compost at all. It absolutely weighs a ton. But obviously I have lost my user in the ground. It's completely dead. This one I think I'm going to grow in a pot and hopefully put it in my summer house over winter. I don't think I'm going to risk this in the ground unless, and well, until it gets much, much bigger and possibly at that point... Um, I might consider putting it in the ground in place of one that died, but it would have to be heavily protected in winter because they are nowhere near as hardy as the claims made for them. Um, they may well take minus eight or minus 10 degrees for two or three hours, one or two nights a year on a mature plant, but these young plants absolutely are not capable of taking that sort of uh, minimum. And the other problem is, we don't know what the rootstock is. Um, this may, uh, bear in mind yuzu itself is, is considered to be a very hardy plant. The problem is if they go, um, it's fine if they put it on a Ponserus rootstock, but if they graft it on like a bitter orange rootstock or something similar to that, that's only hardy to about minus three or minus four, instead of increasing the hardiness of the yuzu, it actually makes it uh, less hardy. So um, that's the yuzu that I bought to replace the one that died in ground. And the other plant, which looks like quite a good size to me, it's poking out the top of the pot. like a very substantial size and it's also our spines on it because this this I can feel them sticking in my um, hands as I try and get it out ouch it's got loads of spines down here Let's see if I can get the stem lifted up oh and this is as heavy as the other one why do they use these why do these Italian growers use these heavy heavy compost I can barely lift it it's just like concrete um, let's see if we can cut the polythene off this quickly so you can see what it is if you haven't guessed already this is 
one of the few that I killed in the last year or so, which I was very disappointed over. Um, again, it got, I think it got overwatered, which is no surprise given uh, the compost it was in, and I never repotted it into the open compost, so I'm going to be very wary with this one to see if I can avoid the same mistake. I've managed to um, pack it up and get all the branches very uh, <laughs> very well folded, but fortunately, I'm pleased to say they don't look damaged at all. Again, it is a grafted plant, so you can you won't be able to see the graft, I don't think, but um, it's grafted around here. Always the weak spot on citrus in our colder climate. And this one is a citrus. Let's lift this up. This is a citrus hystrix. Can't see very easily because. Uh... Now that is the kaffir lime. Um, now this is a lot of countries have changed the name to makrut because if you pronounce kaffir uh, badly, it, it's it's quite an unpleasant um, <laughs> it's quite an uh, unpleasant racist word in um, in a lot of, in a lot of countries. So um, I am wary of uh, pronouncing it um, correctly, but this has been called the kaffir lime for probably since time since citrus records started at least a uh, hundred years um, but of course it is offensive in some areas if you pronounce it a different way to how I pronounce it I'm certainly not going to tell you the way that it should be uh, the incorrect way to pronounce it now this plant is um, looking fabulous it's absolutely covered in flower buds which are just starting to open uh, what I love about these um, these macroot or kaffirs are that the flowers have a lovely they have a nice purple hint to the flower and the buds but of course the main reason I bought this is these wonderful leaves when you when you sort of break them have that fabulous um, cooking that's popular in in a lot of um, uh, sort of the Asian cultures, uh, particularly in uh, Thailand, it's used in a lot of dishes. So if you get a decent sized plant like this, you can afford to pick a few leaves off it and you just slice them thinly and they give that wonderful flavour. But I believe the fruits as well um, are used in cooking. Um, I haven't had, I never had a fruit of my last one. It was actually a much smaller plant this and it died uh, before it fruited, although it did flower quite a lot. So I'm obviously hoping to keep this one alive longer again it's um, what they call a like a standard or a half standard because it's got the bare stem with the which is the root stock and then it's grafted here so you've get you get uh, a bare stem with sort of like a bush plant at the top but i'm very happy with that it's a very very uh, healthy looking plant and and those are two that i bought to replace two that i uh, managed to kill off um, and I'll do my best to keep these ones alive and I think the first thing that's going to happen is the compost is going to have to go because um, I'm not happy in my growing conditions that I'll be able to keep them alive for long. Anyway, thanks for, I thought you, you might, I know some people like unboxing, so thought you might appreciate the video. Thanks very much for watching, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, obviously you can uh, share the video if you think anyone's interested and please click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.